Hello and hello. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, one of the, the requests I've been getting um, the last few weeks. How do you compare the RAV VAS to the frog drum or the frog drum to the RAV VAS? It's a complicated question if I had to answer it myself. So today, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to play a little bit of the raft bass and a little bit of the frog drum. The frog drum is a G pygmy, while the raft bass is an A integral. Both are great, great companies, the frog drums and the raft bass. So, I'm going to start with the RAF VAS. The center of the, or the ding is an A. The RAF VAS A integral. The frog drum G pygmy. The center of the ding is a G. Frog drum, G pygmy. Um, we're going back to the A integral, the raf vas. Um, it's a beautiful drum. I love the the bluish uh, coating and the brass rim. The blue coating really stood out and the brass rim kind of gave it a beautiful accent to this drum. The frog drum, it's a very simple um, metal or steel drum. Uh, I believe it has a, a varnish but it is not painted while the raft vase is painted and it has the basic rubber rim. Uh, and if I was to quickly say this, I compare the frog drum to the original Raf Vas. Um, the Raf Vas, the skeleton, which I guess I'll put it in the video later, uh, you can see the, in the internal brace or the internal skeleton. And the same thing goes with the frog drum. It does have an internal skeleton and brace. Slightly different in shape, which hopefully I can do a better video when I try to take the video of the inside of each drum right here. Sound wise, great sustain on the rap bass. The sound is bright and clear.
great sustain on the frog on the frog drum. Um, the sound is to me, my point of view, it's a little bit more. It has a, a very organic sound to it, um, a deeper tone, but yet. I just want to make a point. This is a G Pygmy, so this is a lower scale. While this is an A integral, so it's a higher scale. So the sustain on the lower scale will be longer than the sustain on the higher scale. So to compare sustain between these two ding, it's, I don't think it's uh, correct in many words because the lower scale will always generate a longer sustain. But collectively, as we play each drum, Both are great drums. It's hard to, personal opinion, to make a comparison between these two fantastic company. Each has its pros and cons. The Ravas and the Frog Drum. Same goes with the Palsa. We can go with all these other um, uh, makers. Art Queen. Luna Drum, Domus, they're all going to have their own sound. It's either you're going to like it or you hate it. So I believe, I think that I'm going to make a video soon that I'm going to have all of my drums, the Domus, the uh, Art Queen, Frog, Raph, Pulsar, Gouda, and I'm going to have, I'm going to talk about what I don't like about these drums. I'm going to talk about the cons. So as for right now, um, this is just going to be a quick video. I just want to show the sh sounds or share the sounds so you guys have a better perspective between the Raph Vass and the Frog Drum. So it's not a Frog Drum versus the rap, the rap vas, rap vas versus the frog drum. Which one is better? It's subjective. If you like the warmer sound, as of right now, today, I'll say go with the frog drum. Painted drum, the sound is fuller. It has more uh, warmth to it. Uh, I got the G Pygmy because I'm using it for my meditation, and uh, a lot of my uh, clients seem to gravitate towards the lower notes. So, hence why I got the G Pygmy. The A integral is a great scale. Fantastic scale. Um, 
why do I buy it? Why do I like this one here or this particular scale or the RAF Vast by itself? Because it, RAF, the RAF Vast, the sound itself, to me, Rathvaz has a sound that it's almost instantly recognizable. It's, it has a very bright sound. Yet, yes, it does have the bottom as well. Uh, it will definitely cut through a mix. It does have a good high end. The high end is very... Um, subjective some people prefer the more woodsy sound some prefer the more uh, a brighter tone the brighter tone definitely gives you more of a projection both drums um, I say has great resonance Each drum has great sustain again. The ringing is just keep on going. So in a nutshell, you'll never go wrong with either or, the Ravas or the Frog Drum. The sustain will keep on going. Um, that's if you want sustain, a lot of sustain. Um, but beside that, I think that they are subjective. So I'm just making this quick video. Well, it's not quick anymore, but I'm just making this video. So I'm just gonna, you know, uh, basically showing you the sounds from both drums. And hopefully that you guys will come to your own conclusion. You guys can leave a comment below. Uh, why do you like about the Raf Vass? What and what do you like about the Raf Vass? and why and what you like about the frog drum. Um, Raf West just moved their facility, so I'm excited uh, with a new facility and with the new drums, uh, new versions they are going to come out with. And uh, the frog drum is relatively a new company. They just been around only for maybe less than a, less than, less than a year. Uh, so far, it's been, I mean, for me personally, I love the frog drum. Um, uh, oh, the, I'm going to say quickly about the cons that I like about each, the cons on each drum here, like real quick. With the Raf Vass, with the blue and the, and the blue painted and the gold, uh, the, what would I call it, the gold, uh, the brass rim. You don't really have to do that much when it comes down to maintenance. You just basically get a damp uh, cloth or even just a, mi a microfiber cloth, just wipe it down. As you can see, I don't, I have not really put anything on this drum right here. I, you know, every few once a week, uh, just basically dust it down, and that's it. I don't have to use anything. While the frog drum, it's I believe it, it again. I believe it does have a coating, but it's going to require a little more maintenance. Um, as you can see, I had this a integral for a couple of years, and it still looks like it's brand new. I mean, the surface is clean um, with a quick dusting; everything comes right off. While the frog drum, I've had it for like a couple of months, and 
you you can see there's a few a little bit I wouldn't say imperfection, but it's just the raw metal. It's just the way how metal is when uh, I guess that when they make these drums, it's not going to be hundred percent smooth and clean like the Raf Vass. Um, so I'm gonna quickly put my Raf Vass, my the blue and gold, and I'm going to. Right here, this is one of my very, this is actually my very, was it? No, this is my second RAF VAS. My first RAF VAS was, a, actually is a B curd, double ding, and I still have it behind me. So this is the C Golden Gate. And looking at both of the metal right here, they both have very similar-ish, um, finish the raw or I actually love touching both of this I, I don't know it just feels great like a raw metal um, this is the C Golden Gate If I was to compare the Raf Vass, the uncoated version, oh, I just had a blackout. Hey, we are back. We had three blackouts. Short, a few seconds. That's pretty much it. Um, the C Golden Gate Raf Vass, the G Pick Me Frog Drum. Um, there's a lot of similarities between these two unpainted um, drums. I find this, the sounds uh, both have great projection. Well, the Raf Vass has, I find that it has a much slightly better projection than the painted version. Maybe it is because it's unpainted. The tongue were able to vibrate uh, more or longer creating a um, longer sustain um, so the skeleton on both of both of these drums more or less the same it's just like different pitches different uh, how the, the the skeletons or the, the braces are structured. So yeah, so basically, um, again, this is the comparison, which I don't like to use that word, between the Raf Vass and the Frog Drum. So I hope that this video can help you guys uh, make a decision which drum do you want to go with? The Frog Drum? or the Raf Vass. To me, they are both excellent instruments and it's subjective. Again, I think I'm, I may have, I might have used that word 20,000 times in this video, but uh, get the sound or the scale or what resonate, what reson, uh, re resonate with you when it comes down to the sounds. Same applies um on the scales as well well guys until the next episode you guys have a blessed day bye